hi everyone in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a brochure on canva with just your phone so if you've seen people making a lot of design through their pcs or maybe their laptop on canva you can actually do that too with only your phone in order to do that you can go to your app store or your play store and try to search for a canva app this is how it looks like then you will want to install that app into your phone. I've already got this app installed, so all I have to do is just open it up. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, because I already got this Canva installed, I also already logged in into my account, as you can see. But if this is your first time, they're going to ask you to log in into your available Canva account. If you haven't had any Canva account yet, you can just create it with your Gmail right through this app. Once you're done with that, we're going to go straight to the brochure creation. Now you have the options to create everything from scratch by clicking this plus sign right here. And it's going to let you choose a bunch of sizes for your design or maybe you just want to create a custom size you can also click this custom symbols right here and then you can just insert your width as well as your height and change your units whether it's in pixels in inches millimeters or centimeters but if you don't want to do that from scratch you can make things way easier simply by going to the template sections here on the template sections go ahead and click on the top of your screen you will see a search bar and you can just type on brochure like so then you can search for brochure and you can browse around the templates according to whichever it is that you need. So there is a bunch of brochure templates that you can play around with. So instead of having to start everything from scratch, you can just start with any of these available templates. Just make sure that you make the design as your own instead of using the design that is available because it's practically just like stealing other people's design so if you see something that you like for example like this one's right here make sure that you click on it and then you change the content of it and not use it as it is so this is going to be the base of my design i like how it looks like so i believe that this brochure is divided by three sections so there is one two three sections on this brochure if you would like to change it to just like two pages brochure you can also do that just make sure to divide the sections by two and in order to make things easier you can just click on this triple dot right here and you can go to settings and you can click add guides in order to help you with your design so as you know now we got three columns created here but if you need less than three you can always go to the custom sections and i actually don't want any gap on it so i'm going to change this to zero and as for the column let's say i want it to be just two all right as you can see now i got this purple line that will not be visible if i ever want to print this out it's just going to be our guide and that is definitely going to be very helpful when it comes to designing your brochure and the first thing that i'm going to do is i am going to change the color of this so they are mostly in the color of green and beige let's say i want to change this to pink so i can just go to the color sections below our screen right here and then you can see that they already gave us a bunch of color selection but i don't want any of the colors appears here i want to make my own color so i'm just going to go to this color wheel and i'm going to slide this all the way to the pink area and i think this deep purple looks pretty nice all right so i'm going to use that one and i'm going to apply it to another part right here and in order to be able to achieve the exact same color i can just click on this color picker and then drag it to the color that we've just created and voila we got the color perfectly matched now i'm going to change the picture in this 
brochure. So I have the options to use the picture that Canva have. I can just go to the element and let's say I want to search for maybe skincare product. Let's pretend that this is going to be a brochure for a skincare product. I'm going to go to the element section and then I'm going to browse around the photo area and I'm going to use this one right here and hover it on top and as you can see it fits right in and I'm going to double click on that picture to readjust the position like so all right that looks nice and I can see that we have this circular text right here so you can actually change that too all you have to do is double click on it and this is actually an element I believe not a free text so all I can do is just to adjust it to be smaller or bigger if I want to so I think I'm just going to leave it as it is over there I'm just going to adjust it so it's going to be in the middle like so all right that's nice then I'm going to change the second picture and if you have your own picture you can just go to this upload sections and upload files from your gallery all right, so you can choose on whichever file you want to put into here. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use pictures from Canvas. So I'm going to go back to the element and scroll around the skincare section. Now, if you notice, there are some picture that has crown symbols on it. And what it meant is that it is only can be used by those who have Canva Pro account. So if you don't have Canva Pro account, you can still choose from this picture just make sure that that is the picture that does not have the crown symbol on it all right so i'm going to choose this picture next i'm going to put it over here all right and then i'm just going to double click it to adjust and as you can see the color of these pictures are quite all over the place not the same so if you would like to edit it you can always go to the editing section so I'm just going to go ahead and click adjust and then I'm going to play with the temperature I'm going to make it a little bit warmer so it's going to mix so it's going to match the first picture well and I think I'm going to do the same thing with this one and this one Thing, they already look way better now I'm going to change the background color of this brochure and I'm going to see what color would I want all right this one seems nice I ended up changing the purple color because it looks a little bit out of place and I like this one's better and I just want to change the color of my font so that it's going to match the purple element so it looks some things like this and if you would like to edit your text you can just double click on the text box and then you can put whatever text you want for example I'm going to say new product here all right and it's going to change the text and you can do the same thing with another text box if you would like to add more text box you can choose text right here and then you can just add the text box like so and put in your text in order to delete it you can just tap on it and then this trash can symbol will appear and then you can just click on it to remove the text if you need more elements go to the element section and type in whatever you want for example you want it to be maybe hair care for hair salon you can just scroll around try to find your graphic or your photo and use it on your design once you're done you can click on the symbols right here and download your design whether it's as png or maybe pdf you name it and then you can just click on download and it's going to be saved into your phone and that's basically it. That is how you can create a brochure on Canva with just your phone. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.